Daisy, please, we're here. I would rather be buried alive. I'd rather do it. Ugh, too much sunlight. Really? Please. Oh, nice parking job, Mom. Why don't you have another drink? I haven't had one drink yet today. Welcome to Horizon. I'm Claire Fletcher. We're looking for Mr. Um, Scarborough or Mr. Marquesian. Mr. Scarborough's in New York. Mr. Marquesian's in the lodge, just down that path. Thank you. Now, please, be nice for the man. Yeah, we wouldn't want him to think we have a problem. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Horizon. I'm Frank Marquesian. I'm Laura Lipanowski. We spoke on the phone. Ah, yes. Excuse me? Yes, we did. And um, this is my daughter, Daisy? Daisy. Bite me. Daisy, you too. I begged her not to dress this way, but it's, it's her thing. Excuse me? When will we be admitted? We'll be right with you. Is this going to take all day? We will have someone with you very shortly. I should hope so. Uh, we'll talk inside later. Why don't you go in and, and just relax a moment, okay? <sighs> Hannah! Hannah! Peter's still in New York, Jeff is sick, and I've got four admits, so you're on deck. You've what? gotta help me. You have got two admits. The first one is Isaac Wilton, and the other is, is Daisy Lipanowski. Louise will do her search in medical and we'll send her around after, okay? Ah, Mr. Wilton, let me introduce you to Hannah Bauer. She's one of our counselors, and uh, Isaac's going to be in her group, so she'll be handling the admittance. Welcome to Horizon. Bob Wilton, this is my wife, Linda. Hi. And this is Isaac. Hello, Isaac. Okay. Let's see what we've got. So, you've been in therapy with Dr. Miller for the past six months. How's that been going? Okay, you don't feel like talking right now, that's all right. Maybe you're angry about being brought here, a little bit scared. In other words, Isaac, you're normal. Your records discuss a recreational drug use. Now, that is neither a phrase nor an activity we recognize here. There's no drugs, no sex, no inappropriate touching, no violence. You're safe here, Isaac. Body's safe, your mind is safe. There's no bull here, Isaac. You feel what you feel. Do you understand that? Well, whenever you feel like talking, whatever you say to me or any other counselor stays between us. Do you understand that? I promise you that. See, everyone's here to help you, Isaac. The rules help us help you. Learn them and you'll do fine. Got it? Okay. I'm going to take you over to the Cliffhanger's Lodge now. Get you settled in. Now 
have your physical? Who knows? Maybe we'll even talk. Daisy Lipinowski? It's Daisy Graves. Thank you. Hello. You must be Shelby. I must be. Where's Joey? Oh, uh, he, he couldn't he couldn't make it. He, he said he said for me to come. Leo. Leo. Hey, Leo. Uh, Joey. Joey said that that you may uh may be interested in a carton of butts. Thank you, Leo. Uh, Joey also said that uh you know that I should ask for some ID. You know, cause you got to be twenty one. What else did Joey say? Nothing. <sighs> well, Daisy, that just about covers it. I'm gonna have one of our cliffhangers, Shelby, get you settled in. Do you have any questions? Nope. Uh, Daisy, would you mind putting the tarot cards aside for a second, please? Are you sure? I think there's something you should know. Thanks, but no. Daisy, you do understand why you're here, right? Certainly. Do you? I mean, really? Tell me. I'm a child of alcoholic parents. My mother has lost all maternal instincts, and my father, disenchanted with life, is verbally abusive. I'm here because I've become a nuisance to their addiction. Do you know why else you're here? When my father finally threatened physical abuse, I used one of his golf clubs to set him straight. A seven iron. Perfect balance of weight and speed. Daisy, you... You do understand that trying to injure your father was the wrong way to deal. I wanted to off him. And the only reason I didn't was I didn't think I could cry for the police. What up, freak man? <laughs> Whoa, new dude in bed six. Augusto Ciceros. I'll be your counselor, do everything I say. Left me hanging. You catch that? He hasn't said a word in two hours. Anna may be his first day buddy. Well, I'm gonna let that slide. You know why? Why? Because I'm feeling good. You know why? Why? You ever just feel good for no reason? No. You see, that's your problem. Thanks. Yo, number six. Nice hair. Check his hair, old freak man. Better enjoy it tonight, because it'll all be gone tomorrow. <laughs> oh, 
love watching a man chop wood. Really? Actually, I mean, I love watching you chop wood. You know, you get caught with that and you'll be the next one chopping wood. You smoke, right? I got 198 more where that came from. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Don't worry, it's not like you meant anything to me. <laughs> I wasn't worried. And I quit. Hey, let me give you a heads up on something. Everything in life is give and take. I learned that on the streets. You give as little as you can and you take as much as you can. I learned that. That's reality. Not mine. You don't have a reality. You have Juliet. Football captain takes the prom queen. That's fantasy land. At least she's not a skank. One thing I'd like you to remember, I am a human being, so speak to me like one. Oh. Speaking of reality, do you have Juliet's crushing on Augie? I saw them kissing. Peaches and cream with cells on top. Your reality sucks, doesn't it? Just remember who didn't play games with you. You know, I got this new student in my group today. He totally clammed up on me. He wouldn't say a word. But he'll come around to the old Hannah magic. Well, look who's here. The pharaoh of finance. The guru of greenbacks. How about a welcome home? Welcome home. Did you get the money? Mm -hmm. Working out. Uh, things didn't go so well with your dad, huh? Well, actually, something happened. I'm not quite sure what, but I think we took a step. I'm glad. So, Chloe's well? Well, and how's Hannah Bauer Barnes doing, huh? Mm, just Hannah Bauer now. Hired a lawyer. Gonna ask Jerry for the divorce, huh? <laughs> you, you knew that. So, uh, Chloe's well? I think I already avoided that subject. Hey! Isn't today your birthday, huh? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it is. I should have baked a cake. Oh, that'll be the day. <laughs> <laughs> you baking a cake. You wait and see, birthday girl. Annie, finest bottled water for the house? On me, kids? Well, meanwhile, how about a birthday dance? What? <laughs> Jukebox is broken. Uh, you know, I, uh, I should probably get back to the ranch. Past 11 p.m., you're in violation. Look, I know it's your first day, but one thing you need to understand is we have rules here. That's how we operate. I couldn't sleep. Oh. Now you can talk, huh? Well, I'm glad, Isaac, but now's not the time. Now's the time for bed. That's the rule. Now, why don't you get on back and be glad I don't report this?
We can talk all you want tomorrow. Sorry, guys, but these questions need to be asked. Would you talk about anything? Just uh, that I was feeling good. Uh, was he feeling good, too? He didn't say nothing. That's it. So I left him alone. Next time I saw him, they were wheeling him out. I'll talk about that. Hey, I've seen whacked out guys before. Worse than that, too. Nah, I don't want to talk about nothing. Scott? How you doing? Don't blame me. I never even talked to him. It's not about blaming anyone, guys. <sighs> they want you next. Your analysis? Come on, what? Your trust in this is truly overwhelming. As you're all aware, a young boy OD'd here last night. He's 16 years old. His name's Isaac Wilton. Except for a few of you, no one had a chance to get to know him. How? How what, Daisy? How did he do it? Barbiturates. He overdosed on barbiturates. But other questions we can ask are why anyone feels the need to abuse drugs. And what can you do if you're having similar feelings? Any thoughts on that, anybody? Look, he, he was just a new kid. I mean, you said it, none of us knew. Up until a few days ago, Scott, you were the new kid. Remember? Could have been an accident, too, you know. It depends what type of barbs he was doing. Furanol, phenobarb, or secondols. Happens all the time. Some newbie tries to get high and just overdoes it. The kid's a butt wipe. Sorry, Augie, what? I said he's a butt wipe. Why is that? He should have just done it at home. No, instead he comes here with this bad attitude then he ODs in our dorm. All right, now we gotta live there. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that creeps me out. And now, now we're supposed to have all these feelings. It sucks. How did he get away with it anyhow? I mean, aren't you guys supposed to deal with this stuff before? Sometimes it doesn't matter how hard you try or how much you care. Sometimes it's just not enough.
Frank. You okay? I want those cliffhanger boys suited up and ready to go by sunrise. I'm taking them out. Taking them out? Yes. Have better group sessions? How about you? Well, I have. It's natural, Hannah. They're in denial. The anger, the humor. It's all par for the course. In a way, it's uh, kind of a blessing that Isaac wasn't with us longer. Peter. I, I just mean it would have been harder on the kids, that's all. Peter, I was there. I heard the same thing you did tonight. You know, the fact is, great damage has been done here. We allowed harm to come to one of our kids, Peter, and that affects the trust of every kid here. Yes. Yes, it'll take time. <sighs> to think I gave Isaac the speech. The you are safe here speech. It's true, Hannah. He was safe here. Yeah, well, you know, the facts seem to contradict that, don't they? Wait. He snuck the drugs in, right? You did the intake by the book, right? You searched everything, the toothpaste. I was wondering how long it would take someone to ask me that. Come on, Hannah. I checked the toothpaste, Peter. I felt it. I didn't feel anything. Obviously, I missed it. We all know that if a kid really wants to bring... Drugs in, he gets them in. I know. Tell that to Isaac's parents. No. Assume they're gonna be lawyers? <laughs> They'll be lawyers on both sides. Don't worry, I think we're in pretty solid ground here. Well, I'm gonna make it a little bit easier on them. How's that? I'm resigning, Peter. Spites. Every time something happens, they take us out for a hike. Yeah, but it's Frank. I mean, can't go too far, right? This should be easy. Not for Frank. I want you guys making it any harder on him. Understood? Huh? Hey, Peter. What? Is Hannah really leaving? We're working through it. Come on. Let's get going. Let's move, muchacho. Hey, man, watch it. Don't you watch it. Hey. <laughs> Over. Now. That's what I'm talking about. Get going. Go. You too. Come on. Boys ready? Yep. You mind telling me where you're taking them? Hope Falls. Hope Falls? Yeah. Why? You sure you can handle this, Frank? I handled it once before, didn't I? The popular belief these days is that death is just a portal to the next stage. That somehow this life is just a pit stop on a longer journey. But well, that's bull. This is it. Death is the end. Blackness. Nothingness, no consciousness. This idea that you'll get to see who comes to your funeral is pathetic. You're dead, bud. The joke's on you. You are nothing but worm food. Dying sucks. And you're an idiot if you think it's better than one more sunrise, one more chance to laugh. Just kidding. Make out. I still like what you said. Really? Wasn't there someone you could talk to? Someone just to say, don't do it? You bears ever seen a dead person? You only got to see one person that used to be alive. Now they're like, totally still. Can't believe how still. Look. Can we just stop talking about it? Stop talking about what? Whatever. Darn! What? No matches. Let me get this straight. You negotiated an entire carton of cigarettes and only one pack of matches? The dark forces are upon us. I don't suppose you'd be interested in 174 cigarettes. As you can see, 
I'm not a smoker. Additionally, I beg the girls here not to do it. Number one, you're on report. Meet me in my office in two hours. And number two, I want all 174 of these coffin nails on my desk. Got it, ladies? Now, number three? You know, actually, number three, how about you all do your detention in the kitchen with me? Sorry I'm late. Anna, thanks for coming. Everyone, this is Anna Bauer, our senior counselor here. We've just been going over some of the details of the situation with Isaac. Uh, I admitted him. I checked his belongings, including the toothpaste tube. And I uh, obviously failed to find the drugs. Miss Bauer, there's going to be plenty of time for deposition. You needn't go into any details. Those are the details. Miss Bauer is clearly willing to accept responsibility. Neither Horizon nor Miss Bauer has any liability Well, that's here. not the way we see it. Well, then I would direct your attention once again to the standard Horizon contract, which clearly defines the limitations of our liability. A limitation by no means supported by statute law. Miss Bauer simply had an obligation pursuant to school policy, but not a legal obligation to prevent the use of drugs coming into... I just want to say this, Ms. Bauer, that when I'm done with you, you won't be allowed near any human being, let alone an innocent child. We brought you a perfectly healthy young boy, and you sent him to the hospital in a coma. Hey, that's enough. You're out of line here. You have no idea what I'm prepared to do. He's dying out here. Look at him. I'm so all important. Hey, Frank, are we here? Why do you think we brought the raft? What's that for? Missing man. What? The missing man formation. Isaac again. Well, that little pile's causes us nothing but trouble. Come on. All right. We're here today to bake a cake. A birthday cake. Come on. Peter, you know us. You've read our records, our psych evals, our rap sheets. Where in any of that was there anything that possibly made you think we knew how to bake a cake? Uh, I don't know. You guys are girls? We're not girls, man. We're profoundly dysfunctional adolescents. Great. So, whose birthday? Hannah's. <laughs> you think a cake is going to make her stay? Uh, frankly, I'm running out of ideas fast, so it couldn't hurt, you know. All right. I'm in for Hannah. Mm, whatever. Mm-hmm. Excellent. What do we need? Um, flour. Flour. Very good, Daisy. Flour. What else? Sugar. Sugar? Ah, sugar. I told you. We can do this. We can. So I've been thinking about it. He didn't leave a note. I, for one, don't think there's any way that he was trying to off himself. Yeah, man, it don't make no sense to off yourself and not let him know what you think of him. Nah, he didn't do it. Yeah, really, I'd leave a note. You'd leave a book. Hey, what would you say? I'd say, dear mom and dad, remember me? Too late! Sincerely, Ezra. That's E-Z-R-A, in case you forgot. How about you? Uh, let's see. Dear world, take a leap, everyone. You don't like me? I don't like you. Yours truly, Agosto. Okay, man, quit slacking. Yeah. How about you, Scott? Hey, none of this is funny, you know? There's no window. How are we supposed to know what's going on in there? All we can do is wait. <gasps> oh, dear Lord. It's hideous. We must kill it. No, no, it's not a monster. It's our cake. 
It's her baby. All she needs is a little frosting. Hey. Hey. Busy? Nope. At that meeting today. I'm sorry. Had to be done, Peter. Don't worry about it. You can't leave, Han. Don't, Peter. You don't realize how much you mean to this school. Burnt out, Peter. Getting sloppy. You know, there are days when I think if I have to deal with another student's problems, I'll scream. I mean, struggle just to wake up every day and do it. That's because you don't know how to take care of yourself. You know, it's funny. Sitting in that room, listening to those lawyers call me Ms. Bauer. Instead of Bauer Barnes. I realized just how much I'd gotten used to being Hannah Bauer Barnes. It takes some getting used to, I guess. Yeah. You know, Peter, sometimes I think all I really want is to just go someplace safe, someplace risk-free. You know, be the one taken care of instead of always being the caregiver. It's not you, Hannah. How do you know that? I know that you had no way of knowing what was going to happen. You missed his stash. All right, it happened. It's not that. Then what? What's that sound? It's where we're headed. It's about a half mile up this trail. Man, this is killing me. Don't be a wuss. What? Shut up. What did you say? Come on. You go near Juliet again and I'll kill you. I gotta touch her. All right, I gotta go now. That's all, B. Stop it. Hey. Frank! Frank, you okay? Ah, oh, fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh. Hey, what's the problem, man? You kissed her. Yeah, I kissed her. Now what? Why? Because she did something nice for me, all right? She helped me, so I kissed her. <laughs> Just because I didn't know what else to say, all right? All right. You thought you were gone? Okay. And you're dead, all right? You're dead. <clears throat> and you? You can step off, right? Just step off. All right, it's done. Let's go. This was his favorite place. Who? Tom. My son, Tom. I didn't know you had a son. Where? Where is he? Around here somewhere. He died of a drug overdose 20 years ago. We buried him here. Here? Where here? Here. Right here. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know. Don't worry about it. You didn't know him. I didn't know him either. I thought I did. But, I mean, he was my boy. Figured whatever it was, it'd blow over. Well, it didn't, obviously. Well, maybe it was an accident. Yeah, I hung on to that one for a long time. An accident. I don't know, Ezra. Are drugs ever an accident? That extra life preserve and the raft. The missing man. That was Tom. Sure. 
Tom, Isaac, you, me. Take your pick. Can you imagine somehow having no hope left in a world as beautiful as this? As a dear friend of mine said only recently, sometimes no matter how hard you try, you just lose one. See? I lost my only one. That's why I started drinking. One night I went for a drive. Woke up two days later in the hospital. That's what happened to your legs, huh? Yes. After that, I sold everything I have in this world and found it a right. I didn't ever want to lose another child again. We better get back. That's it? That's it. Long way for nothing. You know the hardest part? Not being able to say goodbye. I still can't remember the last thing I said to him. Come on, let's go for it. Mejor tú que yo, mano. Mejor tú que yo. You can't let one tragedy make you lose hope, Hannah. You can't give up. I am not giving up. I'm just facing facts. Now don't do it. Tough love, huh? Not tough. I want to apologize for my husband. He's a very proud man, and well, Isaac was an embarrassment to him. No, I think maybe he loved him too much, expected too much. I'm sure he did. I'm sorry. That's why he did what he did. The fact is, Isaac had a history of chronic depression. He overdosed twice at home, and both times Bob refused to call an ambulance. Didn't want the neighbors to see his son that way. Isaac barely made it. But Isaac's records didn't... The doctors... Bob had it fixed. No, he meant well. You have to believe that. The doctor wanted to send Isaac to a psychiatric hospital. Bob wanted him to come here. Even if that meant covering up his psychiatric history. At least Bob was finally willing to do something. This is Wilton. I don't know what to say. I am so sorry that this all fell on you. Because in the end, it is my fault. I never talked to Isaac. I never knew how, I guess. I always thought there'd be tomorrow. We can talk all you want tomorrow. Tomorrow. I am so sorry. I'm glad. 
I know you are. There's something I need to do. I don't want to do it, but... What? Come here. Right here. All right, now, this is taken from an old family recipe that we just made up, and boom. What do you think? Uh, gee. Thanks. The Panger Girls and I made it. Yeah? It's a thought that counts. Uh, you know, why don't we um, just cover it back up, and we'll keep it fresh. Sure. Uh, thanks. Anyway, I guess I should um, start getting settled back in. Anna, the truth is my father's as poor as a church mouse. And my credit shot. So Chloe offered me a financing package so I can buy the school, and uh, I don't see any other way. <sighs> well... You better call her then. Mrs. Wilton. Yeah. I just uh, wanted to tell you. Sorry about Isaac. I'm sure he's going to make it. Peter said Isaac's off life support. He's gonna be okay. Kid got lucky. Yeah. This time.